Virgos and Prince Virgo to roll back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. For whenever you guys happen to watch this timeless love reading and it resonates with your particular situation, then the reading is for you guys. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's get into the reading. Mm. Okay, so y'all got new opportunities coming in love after disappointment, after being left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles there. So let's get into it. All right, Divine Holy Spirit, what romantic love messages do you have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement. Or whenever they happen to <laughs> watch this timeless love reading. As always, guys, take what resonates for you. Leave the rest for someone else. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Meaning, if it doesn't resonate, don't make it fit, okay? Check your other natal chart placements, okay, that you most resonate with, okay? All right, so we have the three, the two of wands, excuse me. We have the full heart. We have the tower. We have the four of cups. We have the prince of pentacles. That's the knight of pentacles. The uh, seven of pentacles. The eight of swords. The Ace of Pentacles and a Princess of Swords. Okay, so Three of Cups. You knew that you were dealing with someone who, um, for some of y'all, when I'm looking at this, your friends didn't like them. But I feel I have a feeling that they didn't tell you that they didn't like the person that you were dealing with, with in the past or that you're dealing with now. Take it how it resonates for you, Leo placements. Okay, I feel like you have always been in a back and forth type of energy with this particular person that you dealt with or are still dealing with or currently de like currently dealing with. I feel like you've always left this person, but you you went back to them. And I feel like the final time that you left them, you knew that it was just the, how should I say this delicately? The toxicity that y'all were experiencing in the relationship wasn't, uh, it wasn't healthy. I feel like you were going back and forth with this person. You might have had a friend or a close family member or some friendship group that told you that you shouldn't be dealing with this person. But they wouldn't tell you outright. They just kind of sort of like, well, he or she is an adult. They let you deal with that particular person. Uh, meanwhile, they saw some things that this person was doing, that you were doing wrong, that they were doing wrong, but they kind of sort of try to stay out of it. But I feel like you leaving a particular relationship or relationships were, was a tower moment, not only for you, but for that particular person. Y'all could have been dealing with a Scorpio or someone with strong Scorpio placements in their natal chart. I feel like you were disappointed because you didn't understand, yeah, three of cups, yeah. They had you in a third party situation and uh, you didn't understand what you did to make them do that. It wasn't about you. That was about them. Uh, I feel like you were always questioning why the relationship was at a standstill. For some of y'all, either you were pregnant when this was happening or this person that you were dealing with got someone else pregnant, um, whoever this third party was. Um, and I feel like it devastated you um, once you found out. Um, but I feel like for some of y'all, y'all suspected all along that this person was doing something that they didn't have any business that's why you may have always confronted them about it or may have been always leaving the relationship then you you get back together with them y'all were breaking up y'all were making up y'all get it was a lot of toxic stuff and i feel like y'all just felt like chained and bound to this particular person eight of swords but i feel like you're breaking that or have broken that bind or that soul tie or that whatever it is energetic core some of y'all may have done some um core cutting rituals you can do that in the meditative state as well and i feel like y'all got a new opportunity it's like coming in out of nowhere for a lot of you guys uh someone has their eye on you they might feel like you're the perfect person for them not in a creepy way but in a way like they've been looking for someone like you who is loyal who is kind who is considerate and who will put forth the same amount of effort as they will put forward, Leo placements. But I feel like that that uh, energy from the past, it is what it is. 
y'all had to learn and go through what y'all had to go through with a particular person or in several relationships but i feel like now this is the time you're coming together with your person and i feel like for a lot of y'all y'all friends are going to be happy for you because they yeah the star card i don't even want to show it because uh i had to blank it out but the star card is behind the three of cups uh this uh relationship this new connection is coming at a time it, in your life to where you're healing still we're all still healing you're never completely healing if you meet someone who tells you they're completely healed run for the hills because they're lying because you always have things that you can work on as a person and especially in regards to uh, relationships in regards to your emotions in regards to everything you can work on something so i feel like while you're hearing healing look at it y'all see at the bottom of the deck you're going to be getting to know someone new and it will blossom leo placements just take your time and let things flow okay so let's see spirit what additional message or messages do you have for leo sun moon rising and venus placements let's see here but for a lot of y'all y'all deal y'all deal with a toxic ex that was always doing some it's like they were playing the game of what can i do to sabotage myself or this relationship today kind of energy or it might be you taking how it resonates it and we, mm, i don't know shit okay mm. <laughs> let's see here yep interferes as you face your inner fears, you recognize what is holding you back from attracting a healthy and loving relationship with others and yourself. Okay. That's the Eight of Swords energy. Okay. Anything else for Leo placement? Take it. No. Okay. Anything else for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement? anything else? that's too many i guess not anything else <laughs> if i okay spirit say that's it okay so look let's go to the songs for leo placements what message additional message and a song do you have for leo placements Yo, what the heck? Maroon 5 featuring Wiz Khalifa. Payphone? Oh, dear. Oh, Lord. Y'all look at... Because somebody's thinking that about you. It's like, uh... They trying to... They want to get... Somebody want to communicate with you. Whether there's someone new or someone old, you would know. You might receive a... um. A phone call or a message from this particular person that's up to you if you actually respond to them somebody's gonna be waiting for you lenny kravitz i'll be waiting that's a song maybe y'all were listening to those songs or they have a significant message in those songs for y'all so i would look them up and listen to them with the lyrics you can do that on you here on youtube anything else for leo placement Somebody trying to send some energy your way, but it's not, uh, it's not as strong. The energy that you, or the connection that you have with a person from the past is not as strong. Yep. They thinking about you. Give me a song from this new person. Shit. The core is breathless. You leave them breathless. Okay. So for some of y'all, y'all got different people, two different people, um, thinking about you you got someone from the past y'all y'all would know who it is i wouldn't know and then you have someone new that you're leaving breathless or y'all both leaving each other breathless because uh they can't believe that they met someone like you that you slipped through other people's fingers so to speak and then you got someone else they like hate that you left them and they think you're coming back so they waiting on you don't wait on they, whether this is you or them, don't wait on nobody. I swear, because life is too short. They they send you messages or they want to call you. Uh, yeah, they're thinking about old memories. But for the new person or this new energy that's coming into your life, 
it's breathless okay they, listen to this song but if you want you can listen to all of them i ain't gonna hate on y'all but or whoever this is but whoever this is in the past i kind of feel like that energy is real toxic and y'all deserve much better than that what you received in a past relationship okay so that's all i have for leo sun moon rising and venus placements for your timeless love reading if it resonates give the video a thumbs up share subscribe join our tribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys